schedules. Professor Dustin in the house for another episode of Wealthy Whispers. Welcome to a class where it's okay to fall asleep. And you may or may not fall asleep, but that again, that's okay. This is a safe place. We hope that you all are doing great. Hopefully. But if not, we hope this video will help in some way. So, in today's Wealthy Whispers episode, we're going to be talking about health and more specifically related to wealth, the health savings account. But that's a little later in the episode. So, Let's begin, shall we? Relaxation is in session. All right. So, where to begin? Um, I suppose the first thing we should talk about is, of course, the disclaimer. I am not a licensed financial advisor, nor am I providing any financial advice. This is strictly for relaxation and fun entertainment. Also, this isn't me talking down to anyone. This is more of a lecture to myself than anyone else. I want to make that very clear. I am still a student to a lot of these concepts and practices. So let's learn together, shall we? You and I. First, we need to define what health is. So, health is the state of being free from illness and or injury. A state of being free from illness and or injury. Okay. So, why is this important? Well, unfortunately, without good health, your life's quality will most likely suffer in some way. And some of these things cannot be helped. So, obviously my heart goes out to those who have had these health conflicts. Obviously, it's not great. But, let's talk more about how this relates to wealth, right? So, we cannot fully enjoy anything if we are not in decent or okay, at minimum, health. Saving, building, working, and creating, they all fall short in importance when measuring the health of a person. So you can have these great aspirations and these great plans, but without good health, it's going to be either far more difficult or near impossible to either enjoy the fruits of your labor or the retirement you've been working for, whatever it is. And so, health must be a priority in all of our lives to have the best shot at a quality life. Okay? Now, I know that there are some like, for example, uh, Stephen Hawking is a great example of someone whose health deteriorated very quickly at a certain point in his life, but he still managed to do amazing things. I wanted to also say that since health conditions and proper recommendations vary vastly, I encourage you to see the appropriate doctors and or professionals for how you, specifically you, can get to peak health, whatever those conditions you are facing are. So I, I wish you the best, of course, wishing you the best. But healthcare can be rather expensive, since we're talking about wealth, money, finance, that kind of thing. This greatly depends on where you live, of course. I live in the United States of America, so it's it can be quite pricey here 
exactly what I'm talking about. Um, so, I can only tra truly speak from my experience with healthcare here in the United States of America. But if you are in another country, I welcome you to comment below and share how healthcare is or isn't affordable where you are from, wherever you're at in the world. I think that would be a very interesting conversation. Perhaps the benefits, maybe how it's better. Share your thoughts. It's open forum. So, in the USA, there are a couple of ways that we can get healthcare at an affordable price or affordable prices. The first is going to be, in most cases, having health insurance. That'll take the burden off of a majority of the payment. You'll, you'll have to pay a deductible and, you know, some piece of it, a copay. It's usually how it goes. The second is going to be having a health savings account, otherwise known and abbreviated as an HSA. Okay. But not every country has HSAs. But maybe there's something similar to them elsewhere in the world. Please share with us also what you have in your country that is similar to an HSA in the comments below. I think that'll also be really interesting because, to be honest, I don't know a whole lot about the healthcare and other options like that in other countries. So please, by all means, it would be greatly appreciated. So let us quickly define an HSA. They are like personal savings accounts, but the money in them is used to pay for healthcare expenses. To qualify, you must be under the age of 65 and have a high deductible health insurance plan. 3,000, 2,000, I forget the minimum, but high deductible is the idea, okay? Lastly, there is a limit to how much money can be contributed to an HSA per year. Um, marital status also will affect this limit. Higher, lower, single married, it, it will be more or less, like a lot of things are here in the United States. So, let's see here. Since the contribution limits vary each year, make sure to know what that limit is if you decide to get an HSA and you're, you know, you're in the United States and you decide to get one. Aside from being in decent health, which is important, our main focus from here on out is going to be building wealth through our health savings account. Okay, so I apologize for those outside the United States or in countries that don't have anything similar to a health savings account, but for those who can have that opportunity, I wanted to take a moment to talk about that. Before we get started with that though, this is an ASMR video after all. So I figured in uh, respect to the subject matter, we would uh, take your vitals using this stethoscope. Okay, so I'm gonna put this up. If it's okay with you, I'm gonna put this right against your chest and I'm gonna have you breathe in for about three counts, hold it for three counts, and then breathe out for five, uh, five counts, okay? So this is also gonna be good for our health as well, so I'll do it with you, okay? Here we go, ready? So breathe in, one, two, three, hold it, one, two, three, and breathe out. As an example, it's easier for me to count if I'm not participating, so let's do it again, shall we? So breathe in, one, two, three, and hold it, one, two, three. Now breathe out, one, two, three, four, five, yes, yes, that's very good. Okay, uh, let me just put this over here. Let's do that again, okay? 
So again, let's breathe in. One, two, three. Hold it. One, two, three. And breathe out. One, two, three, four, five. Are you feeling relaxed? I hope so. These breathing exercises, they always help me whenever I'm feeling stressed or anxiety. So I hope they help you too. Let's do it a couple more times here. Okay, I'm gonna move this over here. All right, let's do this again. So breathing in, one, two, three, hold it. One, two, three, and breathe out. One, two, three, four, five. Very good. Your heart rate should have decreased also. Something about breathing, you know, that's generally what happens. One more time. Okay, move this here. Here we go. Breathe in. One, two, three. Hold it. One, two, three. And breathe out. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. I think that'll do it for the vitals checkup here. You seem to be in uh, decent health here. I hope you're in decent health. <laughs> If not, well, definitely you should go see a professional as soon as possible. Take your health very seriously. So let's continue, shall we? <clears throat> to build wealth with an HSA, you first have to know about the triple tax savings benefits that it provides. Okay. The first is when you put the money into the account tax-free. Now, if your health savings account allows you to invest the money that you contribute, know that when you contribute, at least it's been my experience, to investing, you are not able to use that money for what the health savings account is originally designed for, to pay for some of the metal exp expenses that the insurance doesn't cover for. So I want you to keep that in mind. But when you invest, if your health savings account allows you to invest, then there won't be any taxation on the growth of your investments over time. That's the second tax benefit. I have a link in the description for a health savings account known as Lively. I personally use them because I don't have any fees to invest in their health savings account, which is really nice. Some charge fees. And it's a percentage and it's, it's not great, you know, over time, if it grows really big, that percentage also will be big. So got to read the fine print. Very important with these health savings accounts. Okay. And for the third tax benefit, okay. The third one, if you draw the money out of the account, whether it be for the medical expenses, which is what it's supposed to be for, regardless of your age, or when you reach a certain age, there won't be any penalty for withdrawing it earlier, if it's not for health expenses, in other words, when you reach a certain age, then it's also not taxable. So that's a triple, triple tax-free situation. Pretty cool, right? All right, so now that we've reviewed major benefits when it comes to taxation, once you have an HSA set up, invest some or all of your contributions to have your money work for you. That's right. Every dollar can be a little worker who helps to get more dollars over time. It's the whole idea of investing and using the money to make you richer, right? It's the basis. Um, HSAs are meant to help with medical expenses. And if you need it, if you need it, seriously, then definitely use the uninvested funds within your A Health Savings account for this purpose. Very important. Obviously, you can't be wealthy if you're spending all your money on your health expenses. You kind of have to balance your situation, see what's best. Okay. So, however, if you can afford to pay medical expenses out of pocket, while investing in your health savings account with those three tax-free reasons I mentioned previously, then you could, in theory, treat this health savings account or 
HSA as a retirement account, especially if you can invest and grow the money within it. Remember, not all health savings accounts allow you to invest the money, so be very careful and keep an eye on that. Lively allows you to invest, and there's no fees, so it's perfect. It's what exactly what I wanted, so definitely want to check it out. Again, in the description below. Not sponsored. No affiliation whatsoever. Just what I use, what I like. And so if I use it and I like it, it's the only time I'm going to recommend it. So there you go. Now, you might be thinking, okay, well, investments. Professor Dustin, you haven't talked about investments thus far. You're right, I haven't. In future videos, we'll talk about stocks, bonds, other potential investments, things like that as we go along. And let me know in the comments if there's any type of investments you'd like me to cover as well. We'll see what I can do. Okay, research for you guys, because I know you like learning. And so, let's get a little bit technical. If your employer has a health savings account provided to you, okay, so your employer's like, we can provide you with a health savings account. You're like, all right, cool. That's cool, because then, you know, when I get my cut, my paycheck, I can pick how much goes in, and sometimes employers will contribute a little bit for you. So, less that you have to invest yourself as a complimentary. Not every employer does that, but some do. I know mine does. I'm fortunate enough to have that. But let's say you don't like the health savings account that your employer basically forces you into, in a sense, because you want that employer benefit, and you want it to come directly from your paycheck without having to pay it out later, that kind of thing. Well, it is possible to do what's known as an HSA to HSA transfer. So one HSA talks with another HSA and the money never leaves any one HSA. In other words, it's within the tax-free barrier of a health savings account. That means you're still not taxed even though it's transitioning hands between two HSA carriers. This is what I'm doing currently. Um, you know, because right now my employer has me going through a HSA called Health Equity. And though Health Equity is very user-friendly in their website and so forth, they charge a fee for investing the money because you can invest, but there's a fee. And I'm not a fan of that, so it would be nice if I just had Lively, but then my employer wouldn't give a little extra because of my contributions, and I don't want to miss out on that. So in my case, what I'll do is I will, as soon as I know I've got a contribution from my own paycheck in the health savings account that my employer has provided for me, I will then go through my lively HSA to do that HSA to HSA transfer, and they'll, after I sign a little document for the transfer, whatever the amount is, they'll send that off to my health equity HSA, and then they'll eventually move the funds over to my lively HSA that doesn't have fees that I can invest however I want. So that's how I'm working it out. It's, it's a lengthy process. They gotta mail it, it takes a few weeks, but in the end, I have fully invested, no fees, and you know, it's just, I have more control. And when it comes to your finances, the more control you have, essentially the better. Sometimes the stock market, things like that. Future episode though, future episode. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. <laughs> All right. So one word of caution, if you decide to go the route I'm going, because some of you may find yourselves in that similar circumstance. There has to be, in my health equity account, a minimum of $25. Minimum. They won't let that leave the account. So when I do the transition, what I have to do is I have to look at the balance, whatever the balance is in my health equity, the one that my employer provides that health savings account. I have to then subtract $25 from whatever's in there and then go to my lively and say, I want that difference to be transferred from health equity to lively. So that way it doesn't get rejected by health equity because they'll reject it if I try to take the whole balance out. So definitely read the fine print of whatever health savings account you're using. That's obviously going to vary depending on your circumstances. So just a word of caution there. 
And lastly, let's sum it up to conclude today's lesson. A health savings account or HSA can be tax-free future for future wealth. And I strongly recommend you look into it more to see if it's a good fit for you. Assuming you're in the USA or in a country that has something similar, obviously those circumstances may vary. So I apologize again if this is not applicable to a lot of people watching, but we'll get to more global investments in the future. But the main takeaway, of course, aside from health savings account for those who can't do that, is look out for your health. Never go cheap when it comes to health. You gotta pay it out because health is, aside from time that we talked in the previous episode of Mindset, aside from time, health is the second, probably most important thing that we have to look out for in order to be able to do all the things we want to do, to live the life that we want to live. It, you know, it's one of the foundations of quality of life. So that's everything for the lesson on health and health savings accounts. If we want me to go more into detail about health itself, like exercise, diet, uh, meditation, or, you know, other mental exercises, psychology, emotions, let me know in the comments below. And maybe we can have an episode about wealth in those different categories when it comes to health. I'd be totally okay with that. Got to do more research though, so <laughs> gotta let your professor know. And finally, of course, with every episode, I like to make a recommendation of some reading that can give you some additional information based on what we talked about today. And for today's recommendation, I have the book called Super Life by Darren Olean. And if you're not familiar with this gentleman, I uh, watched on Netflix a, uh, a series called Down to Earth with Zac Efron. And uh, surprisingly enlightening. I highly recommend you check it out. Again, that's called Down to Earth with Zac Efron. I'll leave a link in the description below for not only this book, but also for that Netflix here, maybe the Wikipedia page so you can read more about it. Um, the link for this book will be an affiliate market link. So we will receive a small commission at no cost to you if you decide to purchase this using that link. And we greatly appreciate it, of course. But let me read just a small tidbit from the back of this book. Um, and I'll give you a little bit more information about it. So this book is full of simple fixes, easy to follow, to-do list, grocery list, indispensable guides to supplementing and more. Super Life is your kickstart to eternal awesomeness. And essentially this book, uh, Darren does a fantastic job of researching so many things that we know very little about currently when it comes to chemistry inside our bodies and how it reacts to different foods and how those foods may have more vitamins under certain cooking conditions or certain, uh, maybe, you know, how it was taken straight fresh from the ground versus frozen versus processed. It goes very deep into the science. So I highly recommend you check it out. Yeah, because, well, again, health is important. And he has some, what he calls, superfoods included in here. One example is the pineapple. Apparently, it's got superfood, you know, because it's got so many good things that happen. So more details in the book. Of course, I don't want to spoil too much. But anyway, so I hope you all enjoyed today's lesson. And, you know, regardless of if it's morning, noon, or night, we hope that it's a great one. But 